Hey guys, it's me, me, my trusty sidekick. Old Vinny's here across the aisle, the crafty sidekick shenanigan is here. Welcome to the Crafter After Show where we get to talk about whatever we want to talk about and we always do. We're thrilled that you're with us for the second half tonight. Lots of cool things for you to see. During this show, we also do a thing called Across the Miles where we show you the gifts and cool things that you guys have sent in to us, our subscribers here at my mate made it and we're thrilled to do that tonight lots of news as far as some new product or some refill product is concerned you'll get to see that tonight as well so big time fun tonight in the crafter after show whoop, my whoop. I am, and you ain't ready no i am ready i'm just i just thought about this there's a lot 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 that's got to pass through this countertop tonight so i'm just going to get some stuff off of the counter clear because y'all can't even know like I told y'all, we have been trying to get everything organized from Craft Acropolis. Then we had open house and we had gifts come in from open house. And we're so grateful. The staff just, you guys spoil us and our staff so much. And we're so grateful. But I always like to show you guys the things because y'all always like to see them. Y'all tell me you want to see them. So that's what we're going to do. Look, I left ink. Ah, you guys made me ink. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, now here's what we're going to do tonight. It's going to be slightly different, okay? Because of how Shannon had to have, <laughs> y'all don't even know. So we have this table we call the Luke table, and that is because Luke made it for us. And it's a big wooden table, and it's what we do a lot of our stand-up videos from, and it's what we do um, our monthly Zoom from. And today, Shannon organized all of the gifts and things, and it has filled that table. OK, and it's across the room. So what Shannon wanted to do was be able to bring a thing over, uh, show it and take a thing back, bring a thing over so we can not have such a huge mess in here tomorrow. But that means I need to go through the new product first because we need to roll the new product out of here. So can you all just let us do our thing? Like we're trying, we're trying, but I think you're going to love it. <clears throat> so. And I'm going to do this like so super fast. I'm not telling the story about each one. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. Are you? Um, what y'all want to bet? It ain't happening. I'm not doing it. Oh my goodness. Did she, is she trying to be funny? So I don't know if y'all know this or not, but Amber is in charge of product. You have told her you want to show all the restock. Yeah. Well, Benny, Benny orders it and she organizes it. And I'll always say, you got to let me have the restocks to show people because they never know for sure. Um, we love Christmas ornaments. They go on our subscriber trees in our store. We have three trees this year. I really do feel like next year we're going to, we're either going to add trees or we're going to spread them around on our blank trees next year. We got a lot of ornaments and they're getting kind of lost in the tree. So here's the deal. <laughs> I'm going to show you what Amber got for me and it's a lot. So we're going to fly through it. Okay. So if you want me to pause on a stamps, like, like if there's something you want me to show you or you need to ask a question, we might want to do ones and twos. And here's how this works. If it's a question, if you'll put a number two in the chat, we know to wait for your question. OK, so if you've been in a class with us before, that's how that works. <clears throat> so, so crafty, so cute. <clears throat> Back in stock. Um, all occasions. I want to just talk to y'all about everyone. I'm not going to do it. I all occasions. Killing you. It I is. Feel it I want to tell you stories about everyone. More all occasions. You this can tell part a little two. something. I know I can't. You Do you see? No, I can't. It's I a see lot. the mountain. Yeah. It's a lot. Christmas Miracle, absolutely gorgeous. This is practically the book of Luke in a stamp set. It's absolutely beautiful. Sylvia nailed what I asked her to do on that one. I loved it. Back to Bethlehem. This is the stamp set that is made in honor of my mom this year. We used the last, um, the last line from her play that she wrote in this, and she would love this. She would be all about this stamp set. It's called Back to Bethlehem. That was the name of her play. Once again, look at those poinsettias. Aren't they I beautiful? I love this set. Or as my mother-in-law would say, poin, poet, po, ponsettias. 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 That's how she says that. Everybody says that different in the South. We got three or four different ways to say it in the yeah, South. Yeah, I can't remember how Lisa said it. Everybody says it different. This one is called Snow Me's because you're chilling. With my, look at these cute pieces. And by the way, in case you don't know, I noticed there were a lot of new folks here tonight. All of my stamp sets come with a free SVG, so you don't have to buy a die to go with them. This free file you can use on any of your electronic cutting machines, and it's free, every one. So all of these images can be cut on your electronic cutting machine, and it's so much easier than having 
all those little tiny dies. <clears throat> this one, oh baby, you know what I love about a big restock? Getting to see all our stamp sets like this. It's so cool, isn't it? And this was a huge restock. This is so cute. Yeah, this is a big restock. Oh baby. I love these little guys so much. Oh, one of my very faves. This is one of the first ones we did. This is called, matter of fact, this may be the, this is the second one we did. This is the first big one we did. It's called Tag It. <clears throat> now, if you're not familiar with my tag stamp sets, here's how they work. I didn't want you to have to have a die, okay? So this stamp set, this stamp, I mean, this one stamp, here's what you do. You take an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, okay? You cut it in half the long way at four and a quarter, and you turn that sideways and you cut that down <clears throat> at two and three fourths, two and three fourths, two and three fourths. That gets you eight pieces of cardstock that are two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And then you stamp this on that rectangle. And then all you do is take your scissors and go snip, snip. And it looks like you had a die for it, but you didn't have to have a die. You just get it from a flat piece of paper. Now, this one is this guy in half. So where you get eight doing it this way, you just take that four and a quarter piece and cut it down to two and an eighth. And you get 16 pieces and you can make 16 of these. Now, don't fret. There's videos showing you how to do that. I bet Tamith is already on the hunt for 140 link for you. But all my tag sets work the same way. Okay. So this one <clears throat> has these cute little sayings to go with it. This one, same way. See how you got a big one and a little one? Now, this guy is different. You just need to use your SVG or just cut him out. I just wanted to give you something shapey. Um, this one, same thing. And you do the scrape, the, so the scrape cut there scrape. and the scurve there. You do the scurve. You scrape dog. The scurve. Yeah. The scurve. The scurve. You know, a scurve. The scurve. Everybody knows what a scurve is. This one, recipe builder. Love this. This is your recipe card. It's your tab for your box that you're making. It's all of the food that you're going to be using. I love this set. We were looking for it today because we were going to use it for our tags. Found it. <laughs> This one is called Planner. Is it called Planner? Holiday well, you Planner. You just told everybody it was. It's called Holiday Planner. planner. This one Thank is you, for your She's holiday crying. planners that you make. If you're like me, you make one at the end of the year. This October, November, December. This actually came from a class that we did. It was very specific for that. The only months it has are October, November, December. That's because it's only for holiday planners. Because that's all we make around here. And this year I didn't make one. Do you know why? Because who's got time to plan out the holidays? No. Sylvia had surgery and she was out and it just bottlenecked us. And her her response, and I agree with her, was like, we have a lot already out there. <laughs> so I agreed. We couldn't squeeze one in. I'm sure it will be back next year because I miss mine. I miss it. All right. There's that one. Then let's do these because there's less of them. Let's start with the little guys. Um, this one is called Dash Away. So super cute. We used this one recently dash on a card. Away, dash Away. Um, oh my gosh. Oh yay, vacay. Are you kidding me? Look at that little car. And I'll tell you something. We did this with this little car. You can cut those packages off and put a Christmas tree, put gifts. We did one. Um, I bet it's in, no, it wasn't. We have a stamp set called Holly and Heels and she's holding a stack of presents. We took that stack of presents and cut them out and put them on top of here. And it was so stinking cute. So you can put anything on top of this car and it's one little slit right there. Um, action, probably our most purchase set over the years. This is all the action words you need. And it says place photo here. And it has a stitch line, which was a requested stamp ages ago. All right. This, this one, this one, let me see if there's more of them. Okay. These are what we call our quilting sets. Okay. This is meander and this is heartstrings. And what these do is when you're making your quilting cards or your quilted cards, you want to get that stitch look on top. And if you don't have an embossing folder or something like that, that'll do it. You can ink, you, you can ink this up and put it on top of the whole quilt piece. And it looks like it's been stitched. So I think that's really cool. So again, this is meander and this is heartstrings, but they also make great backgrounds. They're really pretty. These monograms. These are the ones that are back. This will go quick. If you don't know about our monogram stamp sets, let me tell you. These were something Vinny let me do. I begged him to do these and he let me. And the reason I had to beg him is because we had to release 26 stamp sets at one time and it was quite the expensive venture for us. We did this years ago. Do you remember that? And it's you let me several. do this. You're really going to love my idea for next year then. Oh, yeah, was boy. The, um, I'm already my looking forward first to it. Year here. Your first year was monogram. I told him he's really going to love next year's idea then. 
there's actually a couple of ideas. I remember when they came in at Verbena because we filled up that whole big table section there yeah. outside of shipping. All right. This one, let me tell you how this works. Okay. I wanted this for this right here. I love that monogram. That's a circle. And you have like, you know, you have a letter here, a letter here and a letter here. Every one of these stamps come with that letter, right? So what happens is, let me bring one over that's easy to see. All right. So like this, let's say your first name is Anna and your last name is Harry and your middle name is Edna. Okay. Poor thing. <laughs> then you're going to stamp the A first, then the H in the middle, and then the E on the side. Now that's how Southerners do it. Do it, and I know that's not how everybody does it. Some people do this, and they and this may be foreign to you, but it is true. It is an actual thing. That um, what's that wedding magazine? The Knot. They did a whole article on this. How everybody does it. How there's two different ways, right? So you have, and I know this because when we made the stamp set, we did a lot of research. That's the thing. So you do first name. Last name, middle, if you're from the South. If you're anywhere else, you do first name, last name. No, first name, middle name, last name. I don't know why. Or maybe they do first name, middle name, last name. It's different than us. But we always do. We always, our monograms are always our last name in the middle. Always. So besides this, you get the letters in big options. Okay. And they all coordinate with each other. So let's say I think it's really pretty if you want to do a masculine monogram to use that um, that letter. I think that's really pretty. And everyone has these filler pieces and some of them are different. OK, so I want you to pay attention. I didn't want you to get the same filler pieces because if you're like me, and you're going to get multiple letters. I wanted to have different. So this one has this kind of flower. This has this kind of branch. And you notice how these letters are a little bit different, too. You see that? And then this one has this kind of branch. So as you collect them. You know what we need to do? We need to pull out our monogram stamps and use the stamp wheel and do a wreath with these pieces. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be beautiful? So as you collect these, you end up getting different types of foliage or as Clack would say, I vegetation. Never, I never think about pulling those to look at the vegetation. The vegetation is really pretty. Mandy did these. Mandy did a great Bottom job. Shelf. Middle shelf on me. All right. I'm going to do these on there too because we've already shown them. I'm trying to be neat. So A lot of people say they're not from the South. They do it the same way. Oh, cool. First, last, middle. Cool. I'm telling y'all, the, the Knot did an entire article about it. Mandy and I read it when we were looking at this because I had somebody tell me that I was doing my monogram wrong. And I was like, this is the only way I know how to do it. But there's a second way. I never liked the marriage monogram because I wanted Shannon and then Blake. And, and I always Blake want first. Blake and then That's Shannon. That's me too. I'm the same I'm like, way. I, I mean, I want events first. Yeah. <laughs> you always want Blake first. Yes. Well, Blake's thanks. always first. That's how we do it. Okay. This stamp set is back in stock. It is called Chin Up. Y'all, this is an oldie but a goodie. I did this one so many years ago. I can't even tell you. <gasps> Oh, I love this one. Never ending calendar. If you don't have this, it's the time to get it. We have several. We have this one, a small one and a large one. I love that month. Font. Hey, I do too. Here's the deal with this. Okay. You watch the video that goes with this uh, stamp set and it is linked on the product page for this stamp set. And it shows you how to stamp this so that you get every month of the year from this one little section right here. It is so cool. Okay. Plus you get all the good stuff to go with it. So you can make cute little calendars as gifts. Look at this one. Is this called His Pathway? I'm trying. I'm trying to remember all of these names. His Pathway. That's what this one's called. How much do you love this guy? And if I ever get one of these, y'all know Cog Hill calls there's the canned ham. By the way, was the canned ham so much smaller than you thought? Yes. Oh my goodness, that's a tiny little camper. But I'd have to have one buffalo checked. So that's why we did it this way. And this cool car, this actually reminds me of my father's car. He had a car called a Rambler. And I'm pretty sure that's what this looked like. Do you remember Ramblers? I do. And I always sat back here facing out. I wanted to see that way. You can see chin up. Did anybody put a two? Anybody throwing a two up anywhere? No. All right. This is what chin up looks like. This was a requested set. And I mean, I did this when I was still working from home. Okay. Before we ever left uh, the house with our business. All right. This one's so pretty. Magnify him. Look at that. These graphics are, I love these. I love these big, big images. We started doing bigger ones that ended in the middle of last year, roughly. You just make the best stamp sets. You're so sweet. Look at this one. Look at that lion. He is the cutest uh -huh. thing ever. Can y'all see him on a pull-up card? Like you pull it and the line him. stands up. You did do a good job coloring him. Fun coloring so cute. Him. This one is called Strong and Courageous. 
Ooh, this one just came out. This one is, um, you think it of the name is of the name? Unknown. Say it gratefully. Now, here's what it is. Y'all going to notice we're having a lot of gratitude. We're doing a lot of gratitude stuff right now. This right here is so if you have um, a friend in the ministry, you have a pastor, you have a Sunday school teacher, you have a secret sister kind of thing, your worship leader, maybe you have a, you know, a brother in Christ. If you want to send them a card with all kinds of, all kinds of sayings, look at all this that's available to you. Again, this one is called Say It Gratefully because we're grateful for people. That's what that one's about. Oh, this one, Walk in Love. Isn't this beautiful? Did I say that one right? Walk in Love. I can't remember. I'm remembering them tonight. It's that brownie. I need to eat them more. Love these shoes. These shoes came about because my husband has a pair of black and white wingtip shoes that are my favorite and are his boy's favorite. And when their feet could fit in them, they fought over them. But Vinny will wear a pair of black and white wingtips with a suit and nobody looks better. I'm just telling y'all it's true. That's how I feel about it. So that's why I wanted to do that. I wanted some some wingtips. And I'll tell you, if you um, need something for a wedding that's different, this is so cute to make a wedding card out of these. Really, really cute. Also, the story these behind the black and white wingtips is the best ever. Do you remember what I did? Yes. Tell them what you did to get your black I and white I bought, I wanted this particular style of black and white wingtip, but I could only find it in a golf shoe. And so I bought it and took it to... Um, a shoe repair shop and had the golf sole removed and put a regular sole on it so I could wear it. So he could wear black and white wingtips. It was hilarious. This one, look how pretty this is. This is called Praise the Lord. If you didn't see the samples made with this, these guys right here, not only are they individuals, but the way you can stamp them, you can make it look like a crowd. And across the card, it's so beautiful. And these big old words up here, so good. I love this set. You can see, because with, these are not vaulted, and we just love these. <laughs> Look at this one. God is on the move. I remembered it. Love this little guy right here. Also good for a wedding. Put those balloons or these. These balloons go with the big one, and these balloons go with the little one, so you can put them on the back end of those. And this little guy, if you notice, is the antenna. Do you see that? So when you stamp him, you can stamp him right here, and it looks like a little um, banner coming off the antenna. You can also stamp it off the back. Love it. God is on the move. This one is praying for you. This one was so popular. And I know why. It's because we have the word praying and then all of the words to go with it. Praying for healing, praying for peace, for hope, for strength, for courage, for understanding, for you and your family, for you, for wisdom, for comfort. And then trust in him. Such a good set to have in your stash. Plus, you can't you can't go wrong with those beautiful flowers and that wreath piece. <gasps> Jesus is my jam. How cute is this? Look at that. One jam of the strawberries. Bottle. This, these strawberries are so cute. I want to do them pink this year. Pink I remember those strawberries. This set, you guys. So I don't think I've ever explained this to you guys before. This set is called Your Faith is Showing. And that name came from when we were teaching um, youth. We had one particular student who was just really, really growing in her relationship with Christ. And we were talking about something one day. And I said to her, your faith is showing. And it was like. It was so cool. We just all, and then we just started saying it. That was mm -hmm. a saying in our youth group. Your faith is showing. Anytime the kids were showing that they were trusting in God or waiting on God, we would say that. So that's the name of this one. And like God made this day rejoice. And then right here, he is with you always. I'm here for you too. All of these work together so you can have an outside sentiment and an inside sentiment. I think that's really cool. I'm trying not to do too many stories, y'all. This one right here, love this. This, this is just a reminder of God's word for you. Okay. You're a child of God. Read in Romans. You're unique. Read in Psalm. You're important. Read here. You're not alone. Read here. Isn't this cool? I love this. So you are a, um, where's it at? New creation. Do you see that? You can use that together. You are a child of God. God you says you are, a purpose. you are created for a purpose on purpose, by the way. Okay. Then, oh, I forgot the name of this one. Believe. I think this is one of Sylvia's best. I do. I let her play. I just let her have fun with these sentiments. Normally we don't do that, but because they were so bee themed, we added little bees and little things to each sentiment. And this one is adorable. I love that. Back and stop. Oh, look at this one. Is this called names of Jesus? The names of Jesus. You just need to have this one. You just need it for your stamp sets, for your cards, 
You just need it. You will use it. And I love the two fonts with the word Jesus. We did that on purpose so you could have both. And then all of these words describe Jesus. So incredible. That's a good one. Okay, next. May God bless you. I love this set so much. May God bless you for the front and then these sentiments for the inside for every occasion. Love that one. Look at this. Thank you said. Love this. Thank you said. You get thank you and thanks and you have all these words to go with it. This is one you put at your desk and you hold on to it all the time where you can just grab it. Oh, G's not here now, is he? But this is one we did back when G uh, was really, he was helping me so much with my stamp sets. He was such a good inspiration. And this one, um, at the time, definitions were huge at the time. And you guys, it's remained very popular in our stamp mm -hmm. line. We reordered a lot. But it's basically words and their definitions and some little icons to go with it. But it's been very, very popular. Um, A Mother's Day set. Look how pretty this one is. This one is called Beloved Mom. And it's got mothers, mom, mama, mother. And then you have all the little wording to go with it for your Mother's Day card. I remember making lots of cards for my mom with that one. I'm not going to cry about it. Look right here. This one is called Risen. You guys love this one when we did it. This is John 316 in the shape of the cross. And then all this is an Easter reset, right? It's got Happy Easter. Our Savior lives. Love this one. Love this one. Okay. Then... Um, this one right here is called Our God. I love this one because look, these are individual letters, L, R, D, and then G and O. And you can mix these up to say different words. And then you also have these images in place of the O's. So you can play with that. I should tell you this too. All of our stamp sets, Sylvia does on the product page. She does sample pages for you where she lays all the stamps out in different ways that she's put everything on the page. And you can always go and see those. So if you want to see this laid out in like all the different ways, just go to our website, maymaymadeit.com. Look at Our God. That's the stamp set. And then you can see how she's laid it out. And it gives you, it really gives you a lot of inspiration. We have that many more to go through. <laughs> this one is fall for Jesus. Come on. Isn't that adorable? That cross though. Love that cross. This one is um, Santa stuck again because we had a Santa stuck and then we came out with Santa stuck again because I really wanted this fireplace situation. And look, Santa comes down here. He can hang out down here or he can go in the top of the chimney and look at that Rudolph. Are you kidding me? He's so, so cute. Okay. This one is called just believe. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful right there? If you emboss this, it is so beautiful. And what I liked about this was we did the frilly at the top of the word. Normally, you know, that's down at the bottom. I think this is really pretty the way it's at the top and then all the little words that go with it. Now, this one, if you don't have it, what you waiting on? Mary and Christmas are separate words. You also get Mary in a different font. So you can mix it with the cursive. And then you have all of these to go with it. This is what you put on the inside of every one of your Christmas cards. Something from here will go on there. This one is called The World Rejoices. Now, what we did here was every time there's an O, baby Jesus is in it. Isn't that so cute? I love this one so much. And it has a beautiful inside sentiment for your cards. I like to try to give you insides when I can. This one, uh, Winter Wonderland. Look how cute. These are fun to color. I bet Tamith has colored this one 100 times. That one's been around a long time. This is one of my very first sets, you guys. This one's called Snow Peaking. I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon because I love this snowman that sneaks around the corner. You can put him on anything. I love this set so much. I remember sitting in my living room with my face buried in my laptop designing this one. This was one I did way back in the day. That one's been around forever. This one never stays in stock. You know why? Everybody loves these pieces and how many times I've shown you what you can do with them. So there's videos all over my channel for how to use this. Oh, and the sentiments one. are really good too. This, why is this one like one of our greatest? We love this one. This one is called Gift Card Surprise. And there's a video on my channel showing you how to make this with this as a pull up, right? So it pulls the gift card up. And all of this has to do with gift cards. So if you're somebody who gives gift cards, look into this one. It's a good one to have for the year. I'm getting there, y'all. My jaw's hurting and we're not even to the table. And I hadn't even done that. About 10 more. Okay, this one, this one is called, uh, what is this one called? Tag Builder. This was the first one we ever did. This is the same tag situation, okay? Stamp it just like you did the others and just cut the edge off to look like you had a die for it. First one we ever did. Uh, cup of Cuppa. Is Miss Joan here tonight? 
This one is named after Miss Jones. She always told me when she watched my video, she had a cup of cuppa and was ready to watch. And this is all coffee and hot drink and things like that related. It's really cute too. This one is called Look Who's Turning. Is that what we call this one? There's no name on this one. Oh, no, it's called How Many. How Many. So here's your numbers. You can use that for anything. Lots of symbols to go with it. But look, look who's turning two. Look who's turning nine. Look who's turning 29. Oops. Um, <laughs> and then you've got Happy Birthday. I. So if you wanted to do like a little uh, button they could wear with like a rosette. I am three years old. Here's old right here. I knew I'm 11. Isn't that cute? You can do a little banner with a rosette. That's why we did it so they could wear it. And then there's also happy anniversary because so many years. It's going to be more than more than two hands. I had to pause. This one's brand new. And I was like, am I supposed to show this yet? Bink, bink. That's what I did. Bink, bink. Just now. <laughs> bink, bink. Um, this is our newest, newest regular set called Granny Hugs. Yeah, Granny Hugs. This makes a quilt. I thought I had it laying right here. Oh, I mean, a not a quilt. Square. It makes a afghan or a crochet granny square. And you can um, put that anywhere you want on your card. Each one is stamped at a, in a different color. And it's so cute. And you guys, have you been looking on the wet, on the Facebook group? May May made it and so did I. The inspiration is everywhere for this one. Now, this is one I did for baby. And this is one I did for baby fun. Face. Isn't that cute? I love this one. So this set is available. This is the We Are set. We actually call this one From All of Us. But what I love about it is I had somebody ask me if I could do one for, from multiple people. You know, we got like, I am thinking of you or thinking of you. Well, they wanted something from multiple people. So we did We Are, From All of Us, From Both of Us. And we added I am also because it does also work. But like we are um, hoping your birthday is grand. So you can mix them together. And again, there are sample pages on the website. Sitting tree. That's what this one's called. It's a sitting tree. Now, if you don't know what a sitting tree is, it's a tree that sometimes there's a bench underneath it or something. You just sit and enjoy the day and watch the world pass away. That's what this one is. But what's cool about this tree, you get the tree itself, which with nothing on it is perfect for winter. But then you get these little foliage stamps. Do you see these? And all you do is just meander around the tree, stamping those in different little directions. And you can give it a spring look, a summer look, a fall look, and then stamp it alone. And it's winter. And I have a video on my channel where I show you how to like mix the colors to make it look like multiple colors. And you can mix these leaves with these flowers to get like a cherry blossom look. It's really, really cute. Oh, and it has a swing, a fire swing. Three more. Here we go. This one, uh, birthday wishes. This is just because I wanted everything birthday. That's what this one is. Everything birthday. This one's hugely popular. You guys fell in love with this one. This one is called Big Time Sayings. You get four big O words and all the things to go with it. Love that one. One more. Um, I know they're posting them all over the um, So Did I group and the customer gallery. They are so cute. Nailed it. If you don't have this one for Father's Day, you need to grab it before June. Look how cute this is. It even has tiny nails. So cute. Whew. And if you have any stamp requests, send them to Sylvia at mmmedit.com. True. True. She nope. has a running notebook of She'll stamp requests. Do <laughs> <laughs> you not remember that from, is it Daffy Duck? It was Daffy Duck, right? Bugs Bunny. Who was it that always was with uh, Tasmanian Devil? Do you remember the Tasmanian Devil was soothed by music? Do you remember this? Daffy Duck. It was Daffy that was taking him, right? Yeah. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Daffy. It was Daffy. But if you, he had, so Tasmanian Devil escaped from the zoo. And wasn't there a reward if you got him back? Yeah. And so Daffy Duck found him and he had, he knew that music soothes the savage beast and it soothes the Tasmanian Devil. So he started singing and he was following him back to the zoo, right? Well, he had to go so far and they just kept him. And by the time they got to the zoo, he was going, Sylvie, come in. Right out the <laughs> he played the trombone at one point. In he time. did, but he got too excited and he did like this and the end came off and flew up in a tree. And he was like, whoop. <laughs> Those are my favorites. And he had to start singing. Sylvie, come in. Right out the I'm going to find the clip and show it to you. I love it. <laughs> Uh, let's look at paper. Was it Roadrunner? They weren't together, right? No. Elmer Fudd, he was always after bugs, right? Ooh, I did that the wrong way. Go this way. 
Um, my camera's backwards on the screen. This one is not labeled. It is white felt. Felt. Why is it not labeled? Because he said he could send it to me this way. Quicker. Now, or I could wait for it to come in with the proper label on and it. And you said send it. I said send it. Okay. White linen. Okay. If you get, y'all know what, I mean, not linen. It's felt. It's felt. It's felt. Yes. White felt. Oh, I see what he's done here. It's. I see what he's done. <laughs> it's got the designer strip. Um, this is felt. White felt. This is Cartabella. Okay. You do have to cut the strip off. You do have to cut the strip off. These don't have a strip on them. So we just got it quicker, right? We're okay with that. Yep. This one, that's right. Elmer blasted his beak and it would spin around his head. Um, navy blue felt. You guys, if you don't know about felt cardstock, I'm just going to tell you something. Just get it. You, today, you will not be disappointed. Today, we were, this is, this is the cardstock Cartabella is printed on. Okay. And we today were putting something together and I said, you just can't beat Cartabella. Shannon's like, you cannot beat it. It's just so beautiful. The um, the little folio thing, accordion folio she just made. This would be fabulous for making that. I would use anytime I'm making a folio. This is a great yep. base for a folio. It makes the most beautiful folio with a soft turn. It's not, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's just beautiful. That's right, Miss Patty. It is yummy. That's okay. the best Absolutely. Way to describe it. Bobby says, when would you use felt cardstock? Well, folios. Is Building a, great a place. folio. Card base. It's not bad for a card base. It's, it's not. thick, but it's not bad for a card base. I don't like to use 12 by 12 for card bases, though. Yeah, it, it's it's not felt paper. It is cardstock, but it has a felt texture. They have two kinds. They have linen and felt. We carry both. Linen has a linen texture to it, and felt has a felt texture to it. I really need to do my my paper class because we really got into detail about it. It was really cool. This is back in stock. This is the tab punch. If you don't have a punch for making tabs, it's perfect. You see that? It's a really good one, especially if you're going to make yourself a calendar in January. Go ahead and get yourself this. To the fun stuff, Batman. To the Batmobile. This is what I've been waiting to show y'all. So I don't know if y'all know this or not, but we have the privilege of working with Choice Books. And they come about three times a year for us to freshen up. And when they do, I'm always so excited because we get cool stuff. Well, this is what we, we get to go on the truck and kind of pick what we want. And we really handpicked this time. And, and we, we picked a bunch. But we did not get a lot of any of the titles. Okay. I didn't go crazy. I might have gotten one that I got a lot of titles on. But we were looking for things for you to use for like grandkids or kids for Christmas gifts and also for yourself. So I'm going to show you this. This is the first kitty one. Look how cute this is. It's called My Pretty Pink ABC of God Loves Me. Okay. And inside it has a little Velcro piece and it's like a little purse. And it's just all about how God loves them and the alphabet at the same time. Look how cute this is. It's so adorable. Okay. So this one is a good one. If you're looking for, I got this for both my granddaughters. I think they're going to love it. I just think they're going to love this so much. So, and it's um, padded. Isn't that cool? And they can just carry it around. I love it. They're going to love it too. Now there's three of these and I think they are so adorable. I don't want to forget that one. I'll sit it right there. So this one is, um, these are called God's Funniest Animals, or this one is called. They have different series. That one's called God's Funniest Animal. It says, would you ever pet a platypus? And I had to get this because if you don't know, uh, Lydia's favorite animal is a platypus. That's her favorite. Um, and look, would you ever nuzzle a narwhal? And they all have a texture here for them to feel and play with. What's? Um, can you fix something that's being said? Do you see that? This one is, would you ever pet a platypus? And they're actually talking about it. This one is, would you ever arm wrestle an armadillo? Aren't they cute? And all the little textures. I love this. And I know my granddaughters, I think they have this particular book because I feel like I played with this with them. But I know they love these because um, Sam has gotten them a lot of these kinds of books with the textures. And we've played with them. Now, look at this one. Never touch God's hungry animals. Isn't this cute? And you go through and, oh, my goodness, I like that texture right there. And they get to just feel and play all of the textures. Look at the squirrel's texture. And the other thing I like is 
these you can wipe off because they're like silicone. They're not paper. So they're not going to like wear over time. You can just wipe those off to get any, you know, yuckiness off. This one is never touch God's colorful creations. And look, isn't this cute? That one's a really cute texture too. I love how these are. Look at the spider. I wouldn't want to touch that. Even in the book. I do. I do want to hold an octopus. I want to see how that feels. There's a guy. Oh my goodness. Look at that zebra. Look at that zebra. Oh my goodness. I love this zebra so much. I just want that zebra. You're touching the wrong end of that zebra though, for sure. This is, and you must never touch a zebra with a funky attitude. God made him black and white and he's a very groovy dude. Oh, and then there's scripture. That's so cute. Guy on TikTok has an octopus for a pet in a tank. When he comes home every day, he sticks his hand in there and the octopus hugs him mm. every day. That's the life, Vinny. That's the life. Go home and get a hug from your octopus. I'll just take one from Bean. <laughs> she does love you so much. She was so funny yesterday. Okay, wait a second. Are you ready this? Ready for this? If you have grandbabies or if you have somebody that has a new baby come and look at this. Great and small prayers for babies. Now look, when you open this up, I don't want to do this because somebody will buy this. Okay, and I don't want to mess it up. But these little pieces right here, it says, God, thanks for friends, both great and small. And so you have a moose right here. And when you open this up, there's a tiny, it says chirp, chirp. And there's a tiny little animal in there. So you have great and small. Isn't that cute? Thanks for flowers, short and tall. And if you look inside, see the tall ones. Isn't that so adorable? And this pulls down so the baby can learn to do that motion. I love this. So that one is new in store. I love this too. Oh my goodness. Grandmothers. This is the one that got me. By the way, I guess we have some news we can share about this because this is what I was thinking about this one for. You share the news, babe. Well, our son Jared and his wife Samantha in Texas are expecting our third grandchild. So we're very, very excited. Yeah, very excited. And I think in I think in December, late December, we get to find out what it is. We get to find out. Um, but here's what I was thinking. I was thinking for that tiny baby because my other girls are a little old for this, but Emmy might really like this. But this one says, where's my little love bug? Where's my lovely best? Did God tuck you in a treetop all snuggled in a nest? And there's the little bird, right? But right here is a finger hole. To see this finger hole, you pop this forward and there's a mirror behind it. So when you say, where's my little love bug? It's, you show them, there's my little love bug. Isn't that cute? Behind here, there's my little love bug. It's always a mirror. And so you can say that, oh, there's my little love bug. I love this so much. <laughs> little love bug. It's so cute. And this one. Now, this is from Max Licato or Licato. How do you, it's Licato. I say Licato. I say Lakato. Lakato. I don't know. Which... Could it be Lakato? It's not Lakato. All right, listen. I think Max is an incredible writer. It, I mean, who he has a way with words like nobody else, right? This is called Just In Case You Ever Wonder. And on the back it says, I will, I'll always love you. I'll always hug you. I'll always be on your side. And I want you to know that just in case you ever wonder. It says in Max Licato's remarkably simple yet profound style, just in case you ever wonder, expresses those things you'd like most to share with your children. Introduce your family to the heartfelt message that has impacted millions of children for more than a generation. Look how beautiful this is. It's illustrated by Eve Thartlett. I don't know her work, but look how pretty. I just love this so much. So we just got this in. What a good um, Christmas present, right? All right, you want to see adult gifts? Y'all are like, those are good, but show me something for adults. Okay, I will. <laughs> I'm in love with this book. This is a journal, okay? And the minute I saw it, I thought, look at that page. Look how beautiful this is. And you can give this as a gift or you can use it for yourself. And the page is a little, it might, it might, it's not very slick. I was afraid it was a little slick. Um, I have something coming you could use with this. I'm not saying get it for it. I'm just saying I have something coming you could use with this. Okay. But what a beautiful book to add to your Bible for Sundays or to 
put on your pa- on your table to write your prayer list down or to do your devotion notes in. I mean, come on, how beautiful is this? I just think it's gorgeous. So that is now available. This one, I'm afraid y'all are all going to want. I really do. And I think this is the one we got the most of because I think everybody's going to want this one. Isn't this the one we got the most of? I want to say we got like a whole case of these because they're incredible. Let me show you what this is, okay? So this is called a coloring prayer journal. Pray more, worry less. Tamitha's fixing to be like, yes, please. Okay. This one, you can give it as a gift. Okay. But what happens here is you get a coloring page and a little spot to do almost like a devotion or like prayer time. So look, I praise you, Lord, goes here. Okay. I'm thankful for, I confess, and I pray for, and you can put the date, right? And here's what's really cool. You don't have to do this daily. You could do this for every situation. Like you could do multiple pages a day if you wanted to. You know, if a situation arises, see, Tim is like, yes, please. I know. I knew when I saw it, you would want this one. But every page is a different coloring page. And so you can reflect and color at the same time. I think this is so beautiful. If you know someone who colors, this is a great gift. And then look right here. What's your favorite worship song or hymn about prayer? Write a stanza or line that stands out for you. Isn't that neat? And throughout the book, you'll find stuff like that. Let me show you. Let me read the back. It says, spending time with God in the quietness and solitude of prayer renews our hope and strengthens our courage for each new day. Pray More, Worry Less is a creative prayer journal that provides a quiet and comforting space where you can rest and be still. Record your praises and thanksgiving to God as well as your confessions and prayer requests every day. Alongside each guided prayer page, you can color and express your heart through uh, coloring pages paired with inspirational quotes and prayer, beautifully designed scripture verses on prayer to co- on prayer to color, prompted pages for you to fill in and make uniquely yours. Have you ever had like a prompted, one of those prompted journals? Like here's one back here. It gives you a prompt. I just think this is so neat. And I can see a lot of you guys want this one. So we got a bunch of this. This would be great for a youth group. Or if you have a group of ladies that get together. You know, that would be a great one, too. Okay. I feel like there's something in there, but there's not, is there? Is there something in there? It's just the box flap. Let me get to that back one. Look at this. Prayer journal for women. I have seen this in several places, and this is striking to me. It just grabbed me, and I wanted it. So this journal, you can put this journal belongs to. And look, these are... Topics, love and inner beauty, provision and faithfulness, awe and sovereignty. There's a note from the author. And then let me show you what happens. This is like explanation. But look, here it is right here. Here's the scripture. You color this. Do you see this? So you get this kind of look because the background is black. Where's Tamitha? She's going to freak out about this one because the background is black. You color that, right? And then here's your reflection. And then look. These are good gifts, y'all. When I saw them, I was like, man, I know so many people who would love this. Imagine this for your pastor's wife, your Sunday school teacher, your Sunday school teacher's wife, um, and give it with colors. Give it with color pencils or markers. I probably, I think color pencils would be stunning in here. Um, isn't this beautiful? She loves this one even more. Also, it lays flat. And for Lefty, look at here, Lefty. You're really going to love this. Tamith is left-handed if you don't know. Look at that. Oh, lefty. <laughs> get it right over there. Yeah, I love this one. I don't know how many we got of this one, but I do think he told me I could get more of this one. I think we got a lot, but he told me we could get more for sure. And um, this is available, I think, in store now. I'm not sure y'all are, like, talking about stuff. So, um, I was, I got the tab punch put in. Okay. So, he was trying to get it. Now, Vinny picked this one because he's a David Jeremiah fan. I am too, but he's a big David Jeremiah fan. And the gentleman who was working the truck that day said his wife uses this one every morning. It was It's very pretty. Look at this. This is a present. This would be a good one for a pastor, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Grandfather. Isn't this gorgeous? It's called Walking with God. It's by David Jeremiah, and it's just a devotion book for every day. And this is the kind of thing I may have told you about this before. I follow a young girl who is a Hutterite and she, I like what she does. She has a really nice devotion book 
And instead of buying a new one every year, she rereads that one over and over because it, it still speaks to her. I'm sure at some point she'll change out, but she goes through it and then she starts over. Because, you know, by the time you get back, you need those same reminders over and over again. This one's beautiful. Look how rich and thick. So pretty. This is, oh, I can't show it though. I'm going to have to just show you all the picture. I think this is a good gift. Do you see the picture of that Bible? That's what this Bible looks like. This is a King James Bible. It is the large print, um, large print thin line. So see how thin this is right here? So it's the large print of this. And um, it's just beautiful. That The pattern is on the front and the back. I'm sad I can't show you all this. Do I need a new Bible? I don't need a new Bible that bad. But I kind of like this one. Like, but there's another one. Just wait. So <laughs> I'm trying to toss it around. This one's stunning. Okay. But just the last one, just wait for the last one. Now we got this one because it was requested. This is the giant print full size Bible. So once you see, it's not a thin line. I want y'all to see the difference. Okay. See the difference in this? So this is the bigger, the thicker one. And it's the giant print. So we had, this was requested. Somebody asked us if we could get one. If you look on big. the back, you can see yeah, you how can large see the print is. Let me show you. So this is large print and this is giant print. Okay. Um, so you can, you can pick this up if you were looking for each, either one of those. Okay. Last book that I want to show y'all or the last book we got in. Oh my goodness. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. You guys look at this. This is the King James cross reference study Bible. Okay. It's hardback. See that? It's that beautiful floral with this pretty green spine. If you Let me read this to you. Complete text of beloved King James Version, nearly 6,500 study notes, 25,000 center column cross references, introductions to all 66 books, which is so cool, you guys. You don't always get that. Words of Christ in red, dictionary and concordance, character profiles, Bible background articles and Q&As, charts and lists, Messianic prophecies, parallel passages, and 64 pages of full color study and devotional content, especially for women. 64 devotions are in here as well. Look at this. I want to get to one of these pages and show you all this. Look at this. These are devotions tucked inside. See this? Come on. This is so beautiful. I just think they're incredible. And then. We go. So here's that the book introduction. Remember this? This is great. Everybody needs a book introduction. So every one of the books has one. And then this is the center reference. It said it had over 25,000 different references to cross reference what you're reading. And I'm going to get to these. Like, look at this. Hey, Joanna. Thanks for watching. Look at this. It's so gorgeous, you guys. It's just, it, can you see this as a gift? Can you see somebody getting this on Christmas morning and just flipping through it? Look right here. 30 Bible readings for real wisdom. 30 days, great women of the Bible. 30 Bible readings on finding joy. 30 days with Jesus. 30 Bible readings on being a prayer warrior. 30 Bible readings on friendship and relationships. And 30 Bible readings on leading the way. And then 30 Bible readings for growing your faith. It's incredible. It's absolutely stunning. I actually think this, I hope my girls aren't watching. This might be the gift of the year. This is, this is beautiful. It is. Every one of them could use this. I think they would really like it. Joanna from church says she really likes that study Bible. Hi, Joanna. It's a beautiful one. I might need to make that happen. Can you make that happen? Okay. So three. Eh. No, but maybe me. That's the one I wanted. All right, so whew, new product, you guys. We did new product. We did it. Who's tired? You might need a nap. Yeah, it's already 740 and you hadn't even touched across the miles. Here's the thing. Here's what we'll do. Let's do 20 minutes of across the miles and get as far as we can get. Can we do that? I wouldn't do that to y'all, but Shannon and I come in at eight o'clock in the morning. And so at, at eight o'clock, we'll be here. If I do my math right, 12 hours. That is correct. <laughs> You know, if you want to, you can show across the miles next week. Uh, Christmas lover, the new King James is, would you say much? She said, is it much different than the King James? <laughs> you tell Ty, oh, your favorite yes. VBS teacher said, what's up? Oh, that's so sweet. Ty, you're a sweetheart. 
he is the space such as we are. Such a he, good kid. Um, it is different in that the New King James is um, written in such a way that it's a little easier read. A little easier read. So I feel like it's different. I, here's what I, I don't know about y'all. So we also carry NIVs in the store. We have other Bibles in the store. These are just the ones we got this week. But we carry mm. NIVs as well. Can't do it next week. Next week's Thanksgiving. We ain't here. Um, here's the thing. I went back to my King James, which is kind of weird. But we were in a church not long ago where our pastor um, preached from the King James. And I noticed I, I'm not telling you I'm not telling you not to use a different translation because that ain't who I am. There's a lot of translations I enjoy and still use today. OK, but I he would quote scripture and he always quoted King James. And the funny thing was, I noticed that from my generation, I had learned in the King James. That's my scripture. I memorized was King James, all that. And so I just kept going. I feel so much more connected in the service when I'm using my King James in the service, right? It doesn't mean I don't cross-reference. I still do. I have lots of different translations. My favorite translation and the one that I understand to be the most literal translation is the ESV, the English Standard Version. And I love my ESV too. My pastor uses um, the Christian Standard. Is it still Holman? Holman? I don't know if it's still Holman. Now they just Holman, call it the Christian, Christian Standard, Standard, the CSB. And it's beautiful. It's very easy to understand. And but it's so interesting to me how you get used to what you learned from and the King James, because I went to private school a lot and I've been in church a lot of my life, not all of my life. And so I just memorized from the King James. So that's why I like having a good King James, because that's what I remember. You may be younger than me and have learned from something else. And so when I say a scripture, my wording is different than yours. There's, I don't know. I'm not I'm not anti King James. I'm not anti any other. There, that's not true. There's some translations I won't mess with, but I'm not going to discuss those because you might feel different about translation. So here's what I tell you to do. OK, this is how I was taught to do this by the person at the Bible bookstore who I thought was very helpful. Remember this? We wanted a different translation, not a different, but we wanted an additional translation years ago. We went to the Bible bookstore and we were just kind of lost. We didn't know what we were looking at. And he said, get the translation you're the you're the most comfortable with the one you've read the most that was the king james for us he said sit down with the king james and a different translation look up scriptures you know by heart and then compare them and see how they read and then you'll know what translation is best for you the way it is and i thought that was really good and that's what we did and we went with the esv did that explain that well you did i love thank you for that that's awesome well yeah, because this would be into in it. Okay. Um, I think that's it. All right. Let's try to do some across the miles. Is that what you know? That's, that's, that's a good idea. idea. All right. Let's try it. Shannon? Sorry. I'm still shopping. That one is incredible. I know. It? I think I want it. Also, this is, can you imagine for sister in laws? Y'all, this one? Sister in laws, sisters. This is such a good one. Such a beautiful book. Ooh. <laughs> I'm perfectly, I'm reading all your comments and I agree with a lot of what everybody's saying. I haven't read everything. Okay. Number one, this one is from Rhonda Ferris, Beth Wilson, and Tara Ferris. And let's see what's in here. Oh, so we went through a little bit today trying to organize. Look at these, you guys. So these are made by someone called DD Designs. And she's got her phone number on here. Should I put that in camera? I don't know. I don't know either. Here, and if you I have a... Um, um, here, read that. It might the say. first thing that popped in my mind, Karen, is if you have some place in your area that makes yearbooks, they may could repair it. But oh. I'm sure there are lots of other oh, places perfect. that do that kind and of thing. And they share it. Yeah. All right, you guys. Rhonda, Beth, and Tara have been for like a lot of our events, like a lot. Like they are just family. They also come here and visit us. But they sent us this gift. It says we had a wonderful time. Um, they were at the last event. The honey comes from a subscriber and scripture club member. So here's the honey. Look at that tiny bear. That's, look, she gave us enough for all of us to share. 
So here's the I think honey. that's like whipped honey or something. Not sure. I think it is too. I think you're right about that. Then um, the hot sauce is is for the grumpiest man. It's actually also made. Oh, no. No, this is hot sauce. Why did I get that one? This one is called Page & Co. So this this must be for you, Vince. This is called that one. Inconceivable. I wonder if it's that hot. It's orange serrano. I bet that's good. Then it says, I want these. Um, this, it doesn't talk about this, so let's show it. This is called the Grumpy Man Made in um, Mississippi Sweet Jalapeno Pick. No, Sweet Jala Pickles. So are these Wickles? I, think so. I bet they are. Or it might be jalapenos. Look at those. Look, we should five, go to five ingredients, three ingredients. We should go to Nate's tomorrow take this with and us take this with us. <laughs> you don't think you'll be offended? Okay. Um, the letter openers. This is what I want to show y'all. Let me move this. Stuff. Is that everything? Yeah, that's use? everything in there. Not the bad, letter bad, bad. openers come from a small business owner near near Rhonda, and there's one for everyone. Thank you for all you do. It was a great week, Tara, Rhonda, and Beth. Thank you guys so much. Let me show y'all this. This is her business card. Um, I'm going to cover up her phone number just because. But this is her business card. So you can get her information. DD Designs. And this is her email. Dust, DustyDunaway at gmail.com. So if you want to order any of these, now just look. They're stunning. So we all got to pick the ones we wanted. Hello. Um. <laughs> Can you crack some of them open? All right. Look at this one. Look how cute this is. And it's a letter opener for your desk. Isn't it beautiful? I'm going to leave them out. I think they're too pretty. Look at this one. Who do you think this one was for? You think Rhonda said, give me something green and give me something red and buffalo check. Aren't they stunning? And then I did not show Rhonda's card. Let me see that. They, they're right about that. I'm so sorry. Oh, I closed her wrong. Her card looks like a little picnic blanket. Isn't it adorable? And it opens up like that as well. Isn't that beautiful? Do it like that so y'all can see how it's done. Look, you guys. Is that an eraser? I don't know what that is, but I'm in love with that. They're adorable. This is such a unique idea. If you were going to give um, a stationary set to somebody for Christmas, you should add this, right? Wouldn't that be cute? It'd be a cute stocking stuffer or a lady's um, secret, uh, sister, secret gift. sister gift. They're so cool. This I love this one right here. It's really hard for me not to want this one. Timothy, you want this orange one? Ain't nobody going to argue. Else want. <laughs> I like the orange, but look at this. I love these. I think they're so cool. I do think these are are they those oh, they're chewy, just, those oh, chew they're, the, they're those beads like they're right, making for, the bracelets out of yeah. for key, key chains and all that. They're all absolutely stuff. gorgeous. So I hope y'all saw that. Um, I'm going to put it up here again. I'm just covering up her number because I don't want everybody just calling her on the phone. This is who she is. And she's DustyDunaway at gmail.com. I'm assuming Dusty's a lady. I'm just saying she. So there's that. So check that out if you're interested. Then this one is this package. And thank you, Rhonda and Beth and Tara. Y'all know we love you so oh, much. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And I love that gift. Yeah, it's beautiful. So this is from Christy Clark. She came to visit. Y'all, look at these ornaments. I'm going to hold this up and see if y'all can guess what this is. Look at this ornament. Can you tell what this is by looking like that? Oyster shell. Look at this. I'm just going to tell y'all something. My Uncle Earl was an oyster fisherman, mullet fisherman, net fisherman. He fished with nets. He had a pile of oyster shells in his yard. Rhonda I could have made these like she. crazy. Oh, she was a she good. I'm glad. I could have made these like crazy back in the day. He had piles of these, but look how beautiful this is. And that's decoupage. I don't know if this is. I think they all were. I was noticing um, when I was looking at this them one earlier. is decoupage. You can see the texture really well in that one for sure. Aren't these gorgeous? So these are going to go on the subscriber tree. So beautiful. I'm trying not to scratch them into each other. They are stunning. What a great way to use an oyster shell, right? And then also from Christy Clark, the day she came to visit. You guys look at this dog. It's a weenie dog. Look at this dog. Look at his little belly. Little thing. This is adorable. I love this very, very much. 
Are we putting back in for now yes. and then figuring out later? And then also That's this dude. Look at this. There's a long haired wing right there. This is a nice, is this a magnet? It's not bad. I love this. That'd be a good nice in my back. Oh, you're right, right here. Let's leave it there because I'm always needing a notepad. You know that. This is from Ann Witchery. This is something else. Look at this. And this coffee smells so good. Oh, I love it so much. This is called Lakeshore. It's a whole bean medium roast. And then look, this is, there's not a card in here. Yes, there is. Here's a card. Here it is. Oh, it's like a folio book. Look at this. Look at this little folio. Oh, this is so cute. That is really, really cute the way she did that. Oh, look at the Wayne. This is so adorable. So this is printed so that you can read the whole poem or I would say poem. Isn't that adorable? You want to read it? I'm going to let you read it while I keep showing what's in here. Okay. How about that? Just because we're trying to get through more than a couple. All right. So this is what it says. I look up and I see God. I look down and I see my dog. Simple spelling, G-O-D, same word backwards, D-O-G. They would stay with me all day. I'm the one who walks away, but both of them just wait for me and dance at my return with glee. Both love me no matter what, divine God and canine mutt. <laughs> I take it hard each time I fail, but God forgives me and the dog wags his tail. God thought up and made the dog. Dog reflects a part of God. I've seen love from both sides now. It's everywhere. Amen. Bow wow. I look up and I see God. I look down and I see my dog. And in my human frailty, I can't match their love for me. Wendy Francisco. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. How cool. Yep. I'm sorry we got distracted because I don't want to, I want to make sure I give credit to the right person here. Oh, look at this rock. I didn't even see that in there. Isn't that cute? Flushing. So pretty. I love this basket. That I love when we get baskets. And all this is um, stuff from Minnesota. Because if y'all don't know, Minnesota is apparently heaven. That's what they reminded us of. Remember? <laughs> this is so cool. We're excited about this. So we'll put this over that away. This one, if you want to grab those whop, big whoppers, you know what I'm talking about? Yep. We only have one bag left. So while we were at the event, I want to say Marie, Shane. It was Marie. Okay, Marie. Um, one of the so one of the ladies who was taking sewing classes, she didn't take paper classes, did she? Um, yes. She did. Yep. Um, one of the ladies who was taking sewing classes had this bag. This at is her, the open pack. We have an open package. <laughs> She had this bag at her um, station and I fell in love with it. And she was telling me that it was made by this pattern is so demented is the name of the, it's called sew together bag. It is really, really cool. And I want to see if you can see in this picture, it's three zippers inside. She hadn't showed it yet, Mary Beth. And one major zipper on the outside to close it up and it has handles on the end. And I fell in love with her bag. And I want you to know she went to So Charming and bought me this pattern. I didn't even know So Charming had it. She went, her and Penny found it in the shop and bought it for me. Isn't oh, that cool. the sweetest thing? I love it. I can't wait. And she also is the one who brought us these. We have another bag, but these are triple or quadruple dipped chocolate whoppers. And they're from a local company where she's at. So she grabbed those so we could have them. We already opened those. We were eating on those earlier. What have I not opened? You haven't shown the little machine yet. <gasps> no. That's coming. That's we the next one. Is that, that's not this one though. All no. right. Now, <laughs> I was trying to get through all of Craftcropolis first. Brenda Lauer spoiled us bad. She hooked up <laughs> with Bucky's. Look Abuses. at all these. Sadly, one is Bussy. missing. She went there is one missing because we already ate it, the cheddar one. There was a cheddar one that we opened and uh, did away with. We have all of these now we can eat. What y'all need to know. Okay, you're probably like, what do you do with all that food? Okay. If it's something that's someone's favorite, they take it home with them. If not, if it's new things or something like that, in the office up front, we have a snack bar. And all these go to the snack bar. And when you need a snack, you go there and we share them. So if you ever come in, you see that table in the middle of the desk. That's the snack bar. There's always something there. That's where I got my cosmic brownie from. Hey, wasn't this, wasn't that? Yes. 
Okay, that's what I thought. This is so fantastic. This is so fantastic. I'm and the other thing that it. she brought us ain't here no more. <laughs> yeah. Holly Grayson makes Vince's favorite seasoned pretzels, and she brought him a gallon-sized bowl of seasoned pretzels. They are gone. They lasted the week and a little bit. Yeah. They didn't last long. No. Because, I mean, you, you open the bucket or the tub, whatever you want to call it, and you stick your hand in and you get two or three and you chew on them. You close the lid and you sit back in your chair and then you go, man, I want some more of them. You reopen it, get three or four more out, close it back, trying not to eat them all at one sit. A gallon bowl. That's so good. But here's what I love. She knows that recently, not recently, but like last year, we got an entire case of peanut butter for Vince. Someone said an entire case. Okay. She said, I know you already have the peanut butter, so I did this for you. She had this made for him. This says extra crunchy peanut butter. And on the end, it says Benny. You see it? <laughs> she had me my own custom so spoon made spoon for my made. peanut butter. So now it can go. All this stuff doesn't get to leave until we show it. So now it yeah, can go home. I couldn't even take it home. Here's your poon. I know you're excited. I'll now be you your can office. go home and eat your peanut butter. What's funny is what y'all don't realize is he literally has a spoon on his side table all the time that is from peanut butter. I just have to make Becky sure Bing don't lick it. Did those for everybody. <laughs> That's right. Look at these, you guys. There was one for like literally yeah, all of us. Everybody had one. Like mine is here. Look at these. <laughs> this is so pretty. Look. This little notepad with the little mini pen and the pocket in the side. And this adorable little magnet closure. And look at this. Is this re and it's Velcro. Mm -hmm. So, so you can, can refill it. it. And it's a post-it note holder. This is Vince's, obviously. Yeah, and then mine was green. Shannon's is green. Mine is over there and it's red. Yeah. But yeah. Isn't this so pretty? Everybody. And snacks. So a couple yeah. snacks. Honey roasted and salted peanuts in there. And look, she even made the bags they go in. This Adorable. is a good gift. It was. Sir Cayman, there yes. is no other kind of peanut butter but Jiffy. Jiff's Jiffy. Jiffy. Jiff Jiffy. Extra Jiffy. crunchy. Uh, creamy. I like creamy, too. Creamy. Is this, this goes with this? Yep, that's that. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? And this says, Dear May May Vinny and the gang, this is my first time coming to Open House. I have wanted to come for a couple of years, but I'm so excited to finally get to meet you and shop in your store. I hope everyone will enjoy some candy from my favorite place. Fannie Mae is based in Chicago, and my sister-in-law has been sending me candy for Christmas for over 30 years. Mm. Also included is some fabric and washi I thought you would like. I used the fabric to make the ornament for your subscriber tree, but I but I don't sew. Hope you enjoy it. Love in Christ. Judy Buckin from Lakeland, Florida. Um, I had so much fun with Judy. She came all by herself from Lakeland, got in the car and drove herself here all the way here. And look, she made us this ornament for the subscriber tree. And she's like, but I don't sew. So I brought you the leftover fabric. And look at the fabrics. How may may are those, right? I was so excited about this. I thought that was super, super sweet. And she gave us this adorable washi. It's very May May, isn't it? And look at these weenie socks. I can see Vince wearing these with his suit and his wingtips. Oh, yeah. You're not wearing these with your wingtips. But he would wear these, no problem. You ain't got no issue with these. These are no cute. Problem. Happy Tails. Happy Tails socks. Look at this little guy. Oh, they look very Joe to me. Joe would wear them in a second. Y'all don't know. <laughs> Joe loves those. He loves fancy socks. <laughs> and this is the candy from Fannie Mae. This is s'mores Holy and peanut cow. butter pretzels. That's what she told me to make sure you didn't let get away from me. You can have the pretzels. I want the s'mores. Deal? <laughs> Our Shannon's not real happy about that. <laughs> Shannon just took off. She gone. Like, so what? All right. It's 8 o'clock. So let's show the, the machine and then we'll show the rest another time. Do you just want the whole, let's show her whole thing. Y'all aren't, because I put this in the thumbnail. You've got to see this. Do not go anywhere. If you're watching, be glued to the screen. You've got to see this. All right. You're so. right, Karen. It, it, it is Jiff, <laughs> not Jiffy. I've been thinking of you, and it says, Vince and May May, I can never thank you enough for all the prayers that you included me in to, um, to know that you have people that always pray for you is very humbling. Know that you are always in my thoughts and prayers and heart as well. Mm -hmm. This is from Sonia McMillan. Now listen, I was floored. Just, Did the Fannie Mae wait. stuff get shipped or it was brought here by she them? She brought it, not ship. but she said her sister sent it to her. So it probably can be shipped. So it might Do y'all want the information on it? 
Do we need to show the bag again so she can get the address and stuff? I was making sure it didn't fall. All right, let me see if I can get y'all the address. She said it was shipped to her. FannieMay.com. F-A-N-N-I-E-M-A-Y.com. Where do you see it? Right. Uh, not on that one. Right here on this one? <laughs> like, I don't see that. FannieMay.com. Man, Joseph is going to freak out. I've got to take him some of these. These are his very favorite oh, pretzels. those are the... <gasps> yeah. And look, mm, this, one is, this one is like graham crackers and marshmallows covered in chocolate each. Hey, you got to go online and order more of these. Lizzie said that that small stuff is addictive. Okay, check this out. So this is sent for Vinny from Sonia because uh, she put Vinny on it. That's how I know. It says Gordon Farms and it is Georgia cane syrup. Oh, but that's going to be good. You love cane syrup. This bottle is not round. Is it just me? It's not round. It's it's oval. Is it? I mean, it looks round that way. But look at it from the side. Do you see how the label I see looks? what you're talking about. I'm glad you do. I thought it was me. I thought I was losing my mind. This one? Sure. That one was to Amber. She said she read it so you can... Oh, I've already opened them so I can show it. Okay, this was to Amber. Oh, wait. Were they both to her? I think so. Look at that quilt card. Thinking of you. It's to Amber. I'm not going to read her. I'm not going to read her personal card, but the quilt card is gorgeous. What is this one? Also to Amber. It's also to Amber. So I'm just going to show you. You're the best. And it says just a little note. That's so sweet. I don't want to share Amber's private information. And, with and her. she got this. She sent this to Amber, right? Uh huh. These are those pass along notes. Do you remember we had these a while back and you could, you take them out and you can put them into cards or you can leave them on the table when you leave a restaurant or something like that. Love those. Mm -hmm. Same thing for me. Then Shannon got a beautiful thinking of you card. I'm also not going to read her little letter, but in this neat, she gave her one of those as well. We're so spoiled. They sent the, um, the little thingy. Oh yeah. This is so interesting. I think she said the card explained it. Did it not? Um, that's... This explains it. Yep. So she sent these to us. These are little oils and this says small batch artisan crafted. Um, Pecan luxury products for beauty and home. Free of chemicals, additives, never tested on animals. Georgia grown, metter made. This is from Weller's Pecan Farm. It says, our products are all natural. Our raw, unfiltered, cold press oil is extracted in small batches from the seed of the... Cariah... Have fun with that. Uh, uh, <coughs> Illinois tree? Sounds good. Sure. Commonly known as the pecan tree. Let's just call it the pecan <laughs> tree and be done then. All products were, were created there. Waller's Pecan Farm is family owned. Notably one of the first. Okay. What I'm trying to do is figure out what this does. So if y'all know. This is like a sample of pecan oil. Is that what this is? They sell pecan oil at um, Heaton's. Like for it's cooking oil. I don't know okay. what this is. For beauty. Yeah. Anti-aging, reduces the appearance of wrinkles, promotes healthy skin, stimulates hair and nail growth. All natural ingredients, contains over 20 vitamins and minerals. All natural, cost less compared to other oils. For home, furniture oil and wax, rejuvenates wood and more, restores and protects. Easy to use, all natural, cost less. So you don't cook with it. You think? I don't know. I don't know. That's so interesting. I want to smell it. Oh my goodness, look what she did. She sent this for Liddy. <clears throat> Look how adorable. I'm not opening this either. We're going to flip through like this. That's what I did. It's so pretty. She sent it for Lydia. Now, if y'all don't know, you might be thinking, why would she send Lydia a stack of fall paper? Do y'all know why? Fall is her favorite of fall all. Fall is her favorite of all. It is her favorite time of year. And what a sweet gift. And Lydia was here this weekend and I didn't know about it. So that was so sweet. All right. Are y'all ready for this? I, I was fixing to take that back away. I don't think you're ready for this, Jelly. I don't think you're ready for this. I do not think you are. Syrup. For this syrup. I don't have syrup. Let me show you these things. Here's my card. Hold on. All right. I'm going to put this here. Good deal. Get my card out. I'll read my card to you. <laughs> it says, wanted to say thanks for <clears throat> being willing to share your knowledge of crafting with the world. I've learned so much from you over the years. Sonia McMillan. There's my card. 
And she sent this as a thank you. First off, look at these little dish towels. You are my jam. Love you a bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. That is so cute. Dish towel it is. Mm -hmm. I love you a bushel and a peck. If you don't know, my grandmother always sang that to me and I love that song. Something in one of these boxes has gotten me. It could be the box in general. The box. Teaching what happens when what you do is combined with what you love. That's cool. Oh, that's pretty. <coughs> I'm all about bags. I love that one. All right. <clears throat> None of that is the good part. It is the good part. All of that is the good part. But hold on a second. When you see this, you will see why an hour of my morning was spent on this. <laughs> Sylvia I she and was I crack when I showed it to her. Sylvia and I went crazy over this. Are you ready? Look what she sent me. Are you kidding me? This is a toy sewing machine made in the 40s in Germany, and it actually sews. We did some research. We spent some time looking this up. This company, this is called k and Fee. The box that it came in, the original box on the bottom said, sews like mothers. It is so cute. You guys watch. Um, we got fabric in here. Where'd that fabric go? <clears throat> now, I couldn't thread it. I did get this part threaded, but I couldn't thread the bottom part. I had to let um, Haley thread it for me because I couldn't see the hole. It was so tiny. By the way, it is a um, chain stitch. Which one do you want? What do you think will like show easy? It's a chain stitch machine, <clears throat> so it doesn't have a bobbin, which is so cool, and it is so neat. You guys, the little the little foot lifts up, the little presser foot lifts up, but not very far. All right, I'm going to try to do this, but <clears throat> it's kind of hard because I do believe that it also had something to hold it down. I believe it had a latch on here, right? So let's just see what we can do. Shannon, it's moving this fabric this time. It just didn't want to. We sewed paper and it didn't want to move the paper, but it's moving that fabric. I'm not it doing is. it. Okay, so look. Penny says I'm a slow uh, sewer. Oh my gosh. Addie and Emmy are going to freak out over this. Oh my goodness. Now I got to show you all the stitch. You ready? Look at all the people that said they had these. It's a yeah. chain stitch. Do you see that chain it's making? I might take it out and show them. Move the needle up. Pull the fabric out. It doesn't like to come out. There we go. Look, it's a chain stitch. Now, I'll tell you what's cool about this. Let me get that where you see it. Look at that. What's cool about it is I want an actual chain stitch machine for myself so I don't have to deal with the bobbin. And look at this. It does a pretty good job, you guys. And it's, it's 80 it's years old. It's adorable. <clears throat> I cannot get over this. This is the sweetest. Jen gift. said she made her Barbie doll clothes with one. I was just seeing that. I think this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. But I do have to tell y'all something funny. Y'all will think this is hilarious. Today, so Sylvia is learning technology and she and I'm loving it. She cracks me up. So she said, We're gonna take a picture of that and put it out there into Google, and Google's gonna tell us all about it. So she took a picture of it and put it in Google Lens. And when she did, it popped up on the screen and then all these other ones popped up beside it. She said, here it is. Here it is right here. And she started reading all about it because we were trying to find out how to thread it. That's what I wanted to figure out. And she said, I was looking at the picture and I was like, Sylvia, that one has the same thread as this one. Is this the original thread that came with it? Like I was freaking out. Look, and she was too. She's like, baby, that's the original thread that came with it. And then she went, that's a picture of yours. <laughs> So we were sitting here thinking it was like that one. Like all of them had that thread, but it was the picture of mine. That's funny. How do you love this? Oh, yeah. I did try to sew paper on it just to see. I don't want to use it for paper. I want to take it home and use it for fabric. I I feel like, and you guys can tell me, yep, that something went in here to clamp it to the table. That's what I figure happened because it slicks around. But you know what? I think I can put it on some um, shelf paper. You know that grippy paper? Yeah. And the girls will be able to use it. I want. I just want to sew with it. How fun is this? And the fact that it's a chain stitch machine, and I've been literally looking at them. <laughs> I'm extremely, extremely grateful for this. I think it is incredible. And uh, I think Sonia spoiled me. 
So this is what I meant by brace yourself for cuteness. Can it, Does it get any cuter than this? I just don't think so. I like the cranking feature. Anything I don't have to plug in is for me. There you go. There you go. What all can we make on this? I should challenge myself to make something on it. You know, that'd be a fun video, wouldn't it? Because, you know, they do all these. Have you ever seen tiny cooking, the tiny kitchens and all that kind of stuff? Wouldn't it yes. be fun to make? They pull me in. What if I could make like a like a tiny oven mitt or a tiny trivet? Come on, this would be so a fun. tiny card. I'm, paper. But I'm thinking fabric, like actual yeah. fabric. It's sewed fabric. So here's a question paper. I do have. Where do I get needles for this thing? How about you ask your local sewing machine? I think dealer? she's going to go. I do not know. Y'all, this says Berlin, made in Germany. What does that say right there? U.S. zone? I think it does say that. Okay, if you want one, I can tell you they are on eBay and stuff because whenever Sylvia pulled it up, it came up. But there's not only this, there were other brands of little toy sewing machines that worked that weren't just this brand. I love this. A tiny stocking that could be an ornament is a cute idea to sew on here. I could do the stocking like we did it. Um, this is what I'd be doing. La, 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 la. I love it. I'm so in love with it. Thank you so much for this. It is just the coolest thing. I cannot believe she sent this to me. I cannot believe it. I walked around all, day, all morning petting it and showing everybody. A little stocking would be cute. Do I need to film it? What's the name of it? It's called K and F E. So K A Y A N F E. Sew Master. I wonder if it needs to be like old and cleaned and stuff like that. Probably. I, I said this would be funny. What if I've got to take um, a machine into the repair guy to just. Um, it's what K and. What is it called? K A Y. This has it K A Y A N E E. Oh, that could be. See, it's yeah, it's it could e -E. be that. So, like the e is scratched off. You see, it look like an f. Listen, I gotta take one in to have it tuned up. Wouldn't it be funny if I dropped this one off too? Here's one, but it's a different version. It's open and not enclosed How on the cool top. This? I love it so much. Y'all want me to film it? I'll try to do that over the weekend. I think it'd be fun. I don't know how good. Oh, your camera just said bye. My I'm computer out. froze your up. Computer. I had to shut down. Keep it old it with good done. quality oil. I wonder where I oil it. Surely here I oil it. Hey, we got some pecan oil. There's a moving gear down there. I probably need to oil it. It probably hasn't been oiled in quite a while. All right, I'm going to do it. I think it'll be fun. This is, <clears throat> y'all, my voice is going. Sonia McMillan is who sent this to me. Isn't this That's the coolest cool. thing? I just Absolutely love it. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> All right, you guys, we did it. It's only 8.15. That's not the worst. We've done worse than this. We've done worse. We're not, are we halfway through? No. We're not halfway through with things yeah, to show if, you guys. If you didn't see what you brought us at Craft Acropolis it's or coming. what you've sent in, it is coming. And I apologize that we didn't get to it tonight. Tammy, I don't think I can make that three zipper bag with this. That that guy is a pretty detailed project. That's a pretty, I think it would be cute to do a um, Christmas stocking ornament or I'm doing gingerbread in my kitchen. I might can make little gingerbread men because the chain stitch, I could do them upside down so the chain stitch looks like frosting. That would be cute, wouldn't it? So some felt. Some felt. Are they all over Etsy? Karen says, how many of y'all are going to get one? Tell me right now how many of y'all are going to get one of these things because they're adorable. There's one that looks just like it on, on eBay for 25 bucks. Really? They're so cute. I'm in love with it so much. Brian, of course we're still like, Brian, look what somebody sent me. It's a real working sewing machine, and it's teeny tiny. Look, this is my hand, if you don't know. That's my hand, and look. Look. Oh, my goodness. It is so cute. I'm in love. <clears throat> All right, you guys. Too bad Brian's not here with us. He's just in time for prayer. He could have said it. He could have called it for He could have called today. prayer tonight. Um, so we're going to have prayer together. Thank y'all so much for how you spoil us. I love... I got to tell you something. Whenever you send things to us, the staff just kind of hover and they enjoy it so much. That's right. And it means the world. And, um, oh, I want to tell y'all something. So y'all know when we started doing um, Fern Babies? Do you remember Fern Babies? We did that. We still, we had somebody adopt. We adopted out three, I think, over the weekend of Fern Babies. If you don't know, long story, we'll tell you another time. But the couple who adopted the second one, 
I thought Amber said it was the first one. Where, it's the second picture. Did she do them in order? I don't know. I think they were here the same day. It was at an open house, I'm pretty sure. But they came to visit today. And it was so cute because they were telling us about their fern, who's named Fernadette. Y'all remember Fernadette? Um, Fernadette is so long that now, it, did she say it was three plants now? Uh -huh. And she said it was so long, it was six feet up in the air and it trailed down and it went around the room and she had to snip it off and it's doing really good. Oh, cool. cool. All right. Oh, one more thing I got to show y'all. Not for tonight, for another night, but look what I got. I ordered it. I just ordered it for myself because I was super excited. The Lofty Pursuits Holiday Feast. You'll get your ham candy. Don't worry. Oh, boy. I know you were worried about your I ham candy. I saw that you ordered something from Lofty Pursuits <laughs> and I was afraid that's what you did. I ordered... The Holiday Feast. If you don't know about it, go watch their video. They're on YouTube. They are called Lofty Pursuits. Um, and this is the Holiday Feast. All of these candies are different Thanksgiving food flavors. And they really do taste like it. They do. You need to get it. And it's like not artificial flavored. Like No. the You need to watch this video because yeah. he literally takes carrots and makes a honey glazed carrot candy. And it's actually really good. It's, we had it today. We now, ate it while we watched the video I of him making it. I commented in the video. How cool is it that I'm eating this and watching this video? This, I've actually, um, Heidi, I got to go here when we were going on a cruise. We got to stop. Here's the candies in here. I wanted to tell you what's in here. Ham flavored, sweet potato casserole, sweet corn, squash. It's going to be your favorite squash. Oh, I'm sure. Carrots, stuffing, cranberry, pecan pie, and strawberry rhubarb pie is all in here. And I'm so excited to try these. We'll the try these another night. We've had them good. before. We've had cranberries before. are good. But today, Missy was here for lunch and we gave her the ham one. We didn't tell her what it was. She put it in her mouth and went, it's ham. Like, it's so easy to know. It tastes just like ham. So also new packaging. Don't y'all love the new packaging? I do. It's easier to see what's in there. So I just wanted to show you how we picked those up. I think that'll be super fun for Thanksgiving with the kids or whatever. So, all right, Vinny, you want to get, you want to pray for us? I will. Let's pray, guys. Hey, God, thank you so much for this day. I thank you for the time that we can share it with our, our friends, our family that are watching on YouTube and on Facebook. I thank you, God, for the blessing that they are to us. God, they probably don't understand that. They probably think we're a blessing, but they will never know just how much they mean to us, their encouragement, their love, their support. Uh, God, thank you so much for them. Lord, I know there's a lot of people going through a lot of stuff, and I know sometimes the holidays are just brutal. So, God, I pray that you wrap your arms around those that are struggling, those that are hurting. I know, God, you're able. You promised us that in your word. So, God, help us just to lean on you, to trust you, to hold on to you through the tough times. God, I pray for those that are sick, those that are in the hospital. Um, God, you know those needs. I don't have to mention them. And I pray, God, that you would just place your hand on them and allow healing to take place because God, they're so important to their families. And Lord, I know that you know that God, we love you. We praise you. We honor you. We lift you up and we give you all the honor and all the glory for every blessing and every trial that you send our way. We love you. Thank you in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hey, thank y'all so much for being here again. Thank you for everything. You do not have to send us gifts, but y'all are just the sweetest. You always know exactly what is um, what we're looking for and what we like. And we always love when we get something from your area. If you send us something that we can try um, from where you live and things like that. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I don't know if you're tired, but my cosmic brownie is wearing off. So we're out. Thanks so much. Till next time. Bye, bye now. now. Bye.